I really like the aspect of learning about <laughs> my surroundings because my house is about right there and I didn't know it. So think about this as a scavenger hunt. So there are walks, there are tracing activities, there are readings, there are plants and animal IDs, and there are media activities. I walked to Seidel Creek. I mapped the watershed for it, found out a bunch of species that relied on it. The activity really showed me how different it can be to be walking in a place and admire it for face value versus understanding some of the history and how the creek is connected to everything else around it. I came through Cornwall Park my entire life and I have never known that Little Swalcombe Creek came through this area. I think where it originated and how it flows through Bellingham is the craziest for me. So. It begins right over here with Squalcom Lake. And it follows all through this farmland and the outskirts of the city. Because of the lab, I've spent a lot more time just in my neighborhood and backyard um, with my, been studying ferns too. I've really been encouraged to do a lot of independent learning and I've started going around and I've been finding fun little native volunteers. I did a watercolor instead of maybe writing on paper. And um, this phrase, terra nullius, burning up in flames, the word used in like the court of law to justify white colonialists taking over this land from indigenous peoples. The thing that made me think in a different light the most was the Salish Sea map. The physical borders of this place are the complete opposite of the political borders. Huge, huge amounts of ice pushing down on the region. And if you imagine the region sort of like a marshmallow, certain places are a little bit more smooshed down. When you find a source that you think is convincing, look at more carefully at that source. This was at the shore of Lummi Nation Stomach Grounds during the paddle to Lummi. Could you tell us uh, why it's important to have a map that isn't just a Google map of the region? Google Maps um, is not a beautiful cartographic work necessarily. It's very functional and practical. In Lummi language, we learn about the presence of the mountain itself. When we learn it in English, we learn the colonial history. The region's natural beauty is an obvious magnet, but for many immigrants to the Salish Sea, this is foremost a place of economic opportunity. And we see the beginnings of extensive trade networks across the Salish Sea and beyond. Butter clams were highly prized from the Salish Sea and traded up and down the coast and far inland as well. My college career will be focused in this direction and it gave me a great source to jump off with. The virtual place-based learning to me was liberating. Uh, the freedom of self-study was represented in the individuality all of my peers, you guys, um, showed and have brought to the table. So thanks for that and thank you teachers.